Netscope's next generation secure web gateway can be deployed alongside cryptos to protect an organization's sensitive data. Netscope inspects all data moving between employees' endpoints and the websites and cloud applications that they access. And this provides visibility and control of data movement and of user activities for the cloud and web. Cryptos automatically classifies data on endpoints and in cloud storage applications using artificial intelligence algorithms. Cryptos analyzes hundreds of document characteristics and determines the sensitivity of data and marks documents with labels such as confidential, internal use only, public or restricted. I have a Windows endpoint deployed here, which is running the crypto solution. You can see the documents on this device have been classified and labeled. The labels are reflected by these little badges on the icons of files, ranging from public documents like this PDF through to confidential documents like this Word document. This device is also running through the Netscope Security Cloud, and that means that any attempt I make to access websites or cloud applications is governed by Netscope and the policies that I've applied. This means if I go to a personal instance of Box, for example, and attempt to upload confidential data into it, a Netscope policy can recognize that confidential label and prevent that action. If instead I was to take one of the restricted use documents and upload that, a different action occurs. Netscope challenges me to provide additional authentication and only when I put in my one-time password will it then allow me to upload that file. What about those internal use files? Well, uploading one of those may be allowed, but I'm going to have to provide a justification. So in this case, I'm going to say that my manager authorized this action. And having provided a justification, the file upload can continue. Finally, if I do grab one of those public files and try and upload that, I see no user interaction and it's allowed to be uploaded. So this is obviously demonstrating how sensitive data can be prevented from going into the cloud. There is another use case that Netscope and Cryptos together can deliver, and that's where Cryptos is deployed to manage data within the company's approved or managed cloud application. In this case, Cryptos is classifying data within Google Drive, and we see the labels applied to files here within the Google Drive interface. If I attempt to download this confidential information to the endpoint device, Netscope's policy can prevent that. And that means that our sensitive data remains where we want it within the corporate cloud environment and isn't downloaded to devices that we may not have full control over. Back within the Netscope user interface, we can see how our DLP rules are defined in order to detect the classifications that Cryptos applies to files. Here within the file, we're looking for the Cryptos tag and the label that it applies that indicates the sensitivity of that file. Both of these combined and found within the metadata of a file will result in a match against the DLP policy that we can then use in our real-time protection policies. So here we see the uploads to box being managed by DLP profiles with the resulting actions that I just demonstrated. In all cases, the application events are logged within Netscope's user interface. We can take a look at the justification reason that we provided when we tried to upload the internal use documents. Or if a DLP incident is logged against a particular activity, we can drill through and view that incident within the incident management portal, where I can say that I'm actually investigating this incident. And I can confirm the classifications that were applied to the file and even preview the file itself, showing me the contents of the file in addition to the classifications that were detected. So that demonstration shows you the power of combining Netscope's next generation secure web gateway with cryptos and their artificial intelligence based classification to protect sensitive data within the organization.